Hello guys and welcome back again in another video, another requested video, which is a someone has requested a ton of torque engine. Well, I already did a V V12 truck engine with someone. With a lot of you find it strange, but yes, I already made that and it produced so much, you know, torque. And let's try and making that again in this new version of the game after the new update. So we start with V60 degrees 12. You no know, aluminium silicon. Now to make it lighter. And let's go large. Yeah. I'm gonna make a torque engine so this engine will ne will not drive high. So dual overhead camshaft. Four valves per cylinder, or let's try four for a start. Aluminium silicon VVL, let's say forged steel, heavy forged, and forged. And let's say plus 15. Oh, let's start with plus, oh, plus 15 because I want the max amount of torque. 9.5 to 1, 0, and let's see, 40. VVT all cams, plus 15. Turbocharger, ball bearing, medium, fuel economy, plus 15. Direct injection, or single as a start, and let's say 100 octane as a start. 13.7 and Right, 5,000 maybe. Plus 15 again. Dual, quad, dual exhaust. High flow three-way. Reverse flow straight through. Plus 15 again. So, so far the engine is producing 1,188 pound-feet of torque at 1,800 RPM. Alright, so time to, to play with that. Right, like that. All right, one thousand two hundred pound feet of torque. Let's tune the exhaust, the turbocharger. Right, a smaller turbocharger, you know, will make the magic happen. All right. So actually making the boost go lower will gain more torque because not always the bo more boost is working. As you can see right now, alright, for, let's see, at 28 pound feet or 28 uh, PSI boost we are making 4 1,480, 68 pound feet of torque. Hmm. Right, so larger intercooler will make 1,504, and say 50, yes. All right, 33 and a half. The engine is knocking. Alright. Great. 
cramming a lot of fuel in because I want to stop the knocking. All right. Right here, yeah. nineteen hundred done with the, with the turbine, uh, the compressor, now the boost again, alright, 39, 39 and a half PSI, Alright, max boost which is 43 and a half PSI. Now that is just monstrosity. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11. Alright, 2000 and 2111 pound feet. Let's see how much fuel I can push in. Okay, the max. Ignition timing. Come on, I want more ignition timing. Alright, so that's. Woohoo! Oh, -ho, the crank is starting to loosen up. So, billet steel is the answer. Wow, 3,000 pound feet. Yes. 3,214 pound feet of torque. And look at the power. Look how stable is the, the power curve. Oh, yeah. No mufflers. No curly converter. Alright, max size. Alright, the maximum amount of advanced ignition timing and performance intake. Twin, no. Yeah, twin is better. There is no difference. So 5200 and let's see the turbo. Alright. Alright, now. No, that's why that's Yes, now that's got more to I know we I know we have lost horsepower but I gained better torque and that is what I'm aiming for. Yep. Alright. No, I cannot Whoa. Check out this monstrosity. <laughs> Look at the turbo size and the 
exhaust size. Now that is just ridiculous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You have asked for it and I did it. 3,304 pound feet of torque. Wow. I want to hear it. The game is so choppy, I think I have to save this engine and get back in again. I'm gonna call it... So... Talk... Turkey Joe... V12... Talk... Fully on. Right, I'm gonna save this engine and I'm gonna g get out of this, uh, you know, engine sandbox here and get and choose it again so we can test it. So, Toki Joe, come on, Toki Joe, where are you? I've made a lot of engines. All right, Toki Joe, here you are. All right, now we can test it without the chopping of the game. Nine hundred pound feet of torque at idling. Oh my God, nine hundred and seventy-one at idling at at five hundred RPM without the turbo. One thousand. 1,100, all this without the turbo, guys. The engine is so smooth, look 86.6 and it's so responsive also, 80, 83, throttle responsive, it's freaking reliable and yeah, don't don't look here, just, no, just don't look here, and the octane is very high, The yes, of course it's very expensive to make, wow, I mean we can make it actually uh, more smoother. No, but we should we should use forged. No, forged, my friend. Yes, titanium and forged with billet steel. Now the engine is more smoother. Look at this: 634 RPM and 1,041 pound-feet of torque. All these are just idling. This is a perfect truck engine. I mean, if it if it was uh, if it was you know consuming less fuel, it would it would have been awesome. Imagine this engine in a truck while the engine is idling, you know, to warm up in the winter. It producing 1,441 pound feet of torque.
Wow. This is a torque monster. I mean, diesel engines are known for their, you know, craziness in, in the torque range, but gasoline or, or what do you call them, petrol? Yes, that. It's so smooth. Look, look, the engine is producing 1,000. 1,084 pound-feet of torque and look at look at the speed of the pistons running slowly and yummy Wow Torque 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 I really really love this engine. I mean, I wish if this engine can consume less fuel than this and it would and it, it would have been really really a good truck engine. Imagine, you know, you know imagine using a petrol or a gasoline truck truck in the futures in the future. That that would that would be really awesome. It will fill up on 98 octane fuel. Or 100 octane fuel. Wow! But I know the exhaust. The exhaust size is ridiculous. You know, if you want to compare it to the turbo itself. And uh, let's see that the, the intercooler size, large and huge. There is no difference here. You will only lose, you know, throttle response. So that's why I'm using large. The camshafts are. Uh, so we can make a little bit of torque. But we will lose horsepower. So it's 3309, 10, 11. Alright, 3311. No, I cannot add a compre another point of ignition or uh, compression ratio, no. And there is no point of. Actually, there is one horsepower, two horsepower, three, four, no, four, five, right. Alright, so 1,295 horsepower and 3,311 pound-feet of torque. Now that is an engine. I mean, no need for the exhaust to be that big. Alright, now that's 4.8 inches. Alright, now that that is a acceptable size and yes I know we have lost power but we did not lose any torque and that is the whole point of this engine and now the exhaust is looking you know better let's see if we add a catalytic converter no we will lose torque because this engine is producing so much air going out of the exhaust and the catalytic converter will just you know be a restriction so yes we will we will kill the environment with this engine, but it's okay. So I hope you really guys enjoyed this uh, engine or this requested engine. Thank you so much uh, for this cool fan who requested it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button and request cool requests like like this one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you in another video later. And bye bye.